David. Richard. How are you feeling? Bloody hot. It's the Sahara, old boy. I know it's the fucking Sahara. You're dressed for dinner. So the world's still normal. Get changed, both of you. Get changed. Have a shower. Come down for dinner. Police will be here in an hour. I know the officer in charge. It'll be a formality. No. How did it happen? You should tell me before we tell the police. Get everything ironed out. We were bowling along looking for the sign for asthma. And there was a lot of sand blowing across the road. I couldn't see. He just stepped out in front of us like he didn't understand the speed of a car. The fact is, we hit him, we hit him, and we killed him. Well, the main thing is to come clean, cooperate with the police, and seem overwhelmingly contrite. We can do that, can't we? <laughs> if it's absolutely necessary. David. It's 400 miles to Asna. Long way to go for a party. Face it, David, we're lost. That's the time. No, it's not. This is the time. No, David. Don't be so bloody stupid. <laughs> It was an accident. He stepped out in front of us. We don't want the police showing up, poking their noses into everything. You got into a car with a drunk, which makes you an accessory. I feel like I've been an accessory for a long time now. Now listen, are you going to mope a weekend, or are you going to enjoy yourself? It's not a crime to enjoy yourself, you know. I suppose I can make the effort. He didn't mention money? No. He wants you to return with them to bury the boy. It is customary in these parts. People disappear here. They just vanish. What did you do with this ID? Bury it. They didn't just hit him. They ran over him. Maybe more than once. What did they call it in your country? Roadkill. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. So has it occurred to you that he might actually be planning something a lot nastier than anything you can anticipate? forgotten about my husband. Yes, I have. And so have you. Why did you come here? 